Are you thinking about publishing audiobooks on Amazon or wondering how to do it? Then you're going to want to hear me out today where I'm going to discuss the platform known as ACX Audiobook Publishing. So make sure you stay tuned. This is Self Publishing with Dale where you learn to publish books that sell and build an unstoppable author brand. Stick around to the end because I'm going to give you access to a step-by-step -step plan on how you can get good, high-quality audiobooks onto the Amazon platform. Rest assured, I'm still going to give you some good information, but it's going to be just a rough sketch for you so you know exactly where to go and how to do it. Why audiobooks anyway? Well, here's the deal. A lot of people understand that ebooks seem to be all the craze lately, and everyone could agree that print books are not going away anytime soon. People like to consume print books via paperback or hardcover because material possessions are all the craze, it seems, with the kids these days. And with that being said, that doesn't mean that audiobooks should be overlooked. In fact, over the past few years, there has been an incremental growth in the global publication profits of audiobooks, especially downloadable versions. The Amazon-owned company, Audible, is one of the primary locations that people are consuming downloadable audiobooks. And it works in a variety of ways. All that to say this, that some people can either A, buy their audiobooks outright from Audible or on Amazon, or they can become part of a membership program to where they get a certain amount of credits and they can get those downloadable audiobooks. So why exactly has it gone on an upward trajectory? Well, the thing is, is more and more, we can even see proof of concept through things like the explosion of podcasts. People want consumable content that they can take anywhere with them. They don't need to worry about, for instance, having a print book and carrying it with them. They don't need to worry about, you know, having an ebook that's going to distract them from their everyday life. So some people will get downloadable audiobooks to listen in their commute to work or they're listening to it while they're working out at the gym. There's so many ways that you can consume audiobook content. So there's no wonder why Platforms like Audible are winning big right now. Enter Audiobook Creation Exchange, also known as ACX. Why exactly do we want to publish our audiobooks through ACX anyway? Well, it's a bit of an unfair advantage to be honest with you. Amazon, of course, is a huge online retailer and they own so many big avenues, everything from Twitch to Prime Video Direct, and of course, the Audible Creation Exchange platform, which has distribution to the Audible program, Amazon, and, fun fact, Apple iTunes. So why wouldn't you want to have your audiobook distributed to three very big platforms? This is a great way to get your books into more hands that wouldn't otherwise be able to consume your content or want to consume your content via print book or ebook. Here's the catch though. ACX isn't quite available to all publishers at this point. In fact, it's only available right now in the US, UK, Ireland, and Canada. Fair warning, I get a lot of questions when it comes to opening up an ACX account from people outside those four regions, and there has been a bit of controversy as of late that ACX has noticed people outside those regions trying to get into the ACX accounts, and they've done so with great results, but now their accounts are being frozen. So there are alternatives, and I don't want to poo-poo on those ones. In fact, they could turn out pretty well in your favor Consider Authors Republic or Find Away Voices. They have the same distribution, but it's not quite as nice a deal as what ACX has to offer. How does ACX work anyway? It works in a few ways, and let's just take them one at a time. Narrate your own book. If you have the skills and the equipment to do so and the know-how to provide great audio tracks that are mastered and edited to a good product, then chances are likely Audiobook Creation Exchange is going to be exactly what you need. Hire a narrator. Okay, you could always get a referral from a friend, bring your own, find a good narrator somewhere off of the platform that will work with you to produce good quality audiobooks that your audience can buy. In the event though, 
You don't know where to look or who to find or who to trust. Believe it or not, ACX actually acts as a bridge between narrators and publishers slash indie authors. And there's a marketplace of narrators that are willing and able to work with you based on your needs. And there are a couple of ways we can do this. And let's just start it right out the gate. Let's say that you have no money to spare and you're saying, Dale, I can't afford to do an audiobook. There is one option, it's called the 50-50 royalty split. It's a seven year agreement with the narrator where you provide a 50% royalty for them to work with you. So this means that they will take 50% of all of your net profits for that particular publication for the next seven years. And at that point, the rights default back to you and you collect 100% of the net profits. There's gonna be some people that poo poo on 50-50 royalty split, but sometimes you just work with what you have. So if for some reason you're saying, well, I wanna get this audiobook out now and I'm willing to part ways with 50% of the profits, then by all means, 50-50 royalty split is good. However, I want to recommend an option that I feel works even better and it makes more sense in the long term, especially if you believe in your product and you believe it's going to sell ultimately on the marketplace. It's the pay per finished hour project. You're gonna hear this quite a bit, per finished hour. What does per finished hour mean? Well, let's just say that your book is 9,500 words, okay? And it's about roughly, I don't know, 30 pages, maybe more, maybe less, doesn't matter. Either way, that works out to being roughly about an hour of listen content, okay? So that is a finished hour. We can all agree that a narrator isn't gonna simply be able to grab your manuscript turn on a microphone, hit record, upload, and it's all done. No, there's gonna be some time that they're gonna to have to get familiar with your manuscript, they're gonna to have to research words, they're gonna probably, even if you're in fiction, figure out different voicings that they're gonna to need to do for each one of the characters within your fiction book. So there's a lot of intense process that the narrator has to go through. And with that being said, per finished hour, don't be surprised can cost quite a bit. But here's the nice thing is, as soon as you've paid them per finished hour, you own the rights outright. You can do whatever you want to with those tracks. So how much can you expect to pay per finished hour? Some people have claimed to go as low as $25 to $50 per finished hour, and some go as high as the thousands per finished hour. It really depends on your narrator's experience and the quality work that they put out. I highly recommend that if you're getting any kind of auditions or you're looking into any narrators, make sure that they're putting out good quality content. You shouldn't be looking for the person who's willing to race to the bottom to get your services because who knows if they're just grabbing their cell phone and recording this and trying to pass it off as an audiobook because ultimately ACX is not going to just take any old rubbish. It actually has to go through a vetting process to where they make sure that the levels are where they like it and the customer is going to be happy and there's no refunds. Let's talk about the payout structure. Ooh. If I could change this particular structure, I would. And it actually had something a little bit different back in the day as shared with me by Rob Archangel in a previous interview with him here on this channel. But facts remain the facts. You collect 40% of each of the sales. Yeah, 40%. You compare that to something like when you're selling an ebook, you get 70% and you do that through a print book and you can get as say low as 35% as much to 60% depending on the type of book and the cut and the number of pages. The lower end of things are audiobooks on ACX and I, I must say I, I'm not never happy with it and especially if you're paying per finished hour, you're gonna have to really sell quite a few books in order to make back that money. Think long term, think the long game on this one and especially if you put out a great quality product and a narrator has done a great job, then there's a good chance you're gonna see a return on your investment, but I can't make any guarantees. Or there's the 20% model, of course, that's the 50-50 split. Remember, if you're doing a 50-50 royalty split, you're agreeing to give 50% of your profits over to your narrator and that's gonna be for the next seven years. You're gonna be saddled with that and there are 
there's really no way of getting out of it outside of working out some type of compensation with that narrator and discussing that with audiobook creation exchange directly. Here's where it gets exciting though. Hold on, hold on, don't click away just yet because there's the bounty program. This is by far one of the most lucrative opportunities available to you through ACX. Let's just say your audiobook costs $9.99 on the marketplace and you're collecting 40% of that, so you're getting roughly about four bucks per sale. You go a little further down, you might have say a 50-50 royalty split, it could be $2 per sale. You're kind of going, oh man, here's the beauty of it. There's something that's called the bounty program. In the event that you refer someone to your audiobook's product page by way of a link that ACX provides you, you get a $75 bonus if someone goes there, they get into the Audible membership program and they stay on for the 30-day trial and an additional 30 days at the paid level. So that means a total of 60 days in the Audible membership program. You get $75. Pretty cool, right? They get your book for free. Okay, I know you're kind of going, oh, no, 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 wait, they're getting my book for free? I think it's a pretty darn good exchange, especially if you're only getting $2 for that particular book and you end up getting $75? No brainer here, folks. The old model, which is going to be phased out here on March 31st of 2019, was a $50 bounty, and you could actually get it through organic traffic or through a bounty referral link of some sort. Uh, either way, they're starting to phase this one out. So if you're familiar with the $50 reward program, understand that it's going to be gone before long and you can start to anticipate that in order to get your bounty, you're gonna have to refer people to your product page via the bounty link. But hey, that's not all. Yeah, that's right. They actually, they equip you with what's called promotional codes. They used to, back in the day, ACX would send you 25 promotional codes for the US and the UK. Well, not anymore. In fact, they won't even tell you this anymore. They don't fully disclose this. They just hope that you kind of know this because you've been studying them long enough or you've read enough of their blog articles, which by the way, they got a great blog. Go check them out one of these times. But nonetheless, you have to request these 25 promotional codes. These codes are like money in the bank. You're able to send them out to say your readers or any type of reviewers and you're able to get some more reviews as well as get it to where you're building a bit more brand awareness. So it's like literally getting free copies of your print book or your ebook that you can just share with people and it's really, really nice. But again, as soon as your book has been published onto the marketplace through ACX, you have to reach out to them at support at acx.com and say, hey, could I get my 25 codes for the US and the UK for this title? In fact, I got five great ideas on what you can do with your promotional codes in this other video. I'm gonna leave that inside the description down below. And if you are kind of wondering, okay, Dale, what do I need to do? What are the best first steps for me to utilize the Audiobook Creation Exchange platform? I've actually got free access for you to the DIY publishing course beginner portion. If you just head on over to diypublishing.biz forward slash free, I'll get you on in right away. So I'll see you on over there.